Hello and welcome to another video from WRT. In this video we'll be going over the Google Chrome box. I'm going over what it is and how to set it up. The Google Chrome box comes with the Chrome operating system. Google's thinking behind this operating system is why I have this big expensive computer when most users just use it for games and internet. So they created an internet based operating system that relies heavily on the internet. Because it does not have all the extra resources needed in a big computer, the cost of this operating system is relatively low. With this operating system, you get all of Google's apps, including Chrome browser, Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, and many more. In 2012, Samsung was the first company to release the Chromebox. In early 2014, Asus jumped on board and created a Chromebox for meeting, but it was a little high priced, coming in at about $1,000. About a month later, they released a much cheaper version, running it at about $179. As of today, HP, Acer, Dell, and Dell have all started making their Chrome boxes. Their core box runs on solid state hard drives, uses about 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM, and uses either Intel Celeron, Core i3, i5, or i7 processors. Their Chrome box comes with an Ethernet jack, a built in wireless connection, four USB ports, two on the back, two on the front, an HDMI port, a display port for multiple monitors or TVs if you want comes with a uh, headphone jack and then on the side it has your SD card slot so you can do your home pictures and videos. The Chrome box is really easy to set up. It should take you under two minutes. All you do is just plug in your power source, plug in your HDMI cable and make sure the other end is plugged into your TV and just plug in your keyboard and mouse and on this instance we're using a wireless keyboard and mouse so we're plugging in our receiver. After you have everything hooked up, you'll see on the TV it's going to ask you to create an account or use your current Google account. Once you made your selection, it's going to ask you for your wireless connection if you're not using the Ethernet port. After you've signed in, the setup is complete and you can start using your Chrome box. Thank you for watching another WRT video. If you are in the WRT service area and would like WRT internet, phone service, or maybe a surveillance system, give us a call at 701-748-2211.